Hey, it's Bridget with Sleepopolis, and today I want to compare Nectar's three new hybrid beds. The Nectar Classic Hybrid, the Nectar Premier Hybrid, and the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid. I'm going to look at how they differ in firmness, construction, laying on them, and more, all to see which mattress is the winner for you. But before we begin, be sure to check out sleepopolis.com for more in-depth mattress reviews, sleep product reviews, and exclusive coupons. All right, let's get started. So let's first talk about what these beds have in common, aside from being new hybrids from Nectar. And for the record, we did receive these mattresses for free from Nectar to review and tell you about them. But if you buy them online, you should expect them to all ship for free compressed in a box and come with impressive 365 night trials and lifetime warranties. They all have foam layers for pressure relief and then coils for added airflow and support. And I think back sleepers would do well on all of them and a lot of side sleepers would too. Now to the differences. Starting with how they're built. The Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid is 14 inches in height. The Nectar Premier Hybrid is 13 inches and the Nectar Classic Hybrid is 12. The Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid has the most cooling and pressure relieving materials inside and is the most supportive. Then the Nectar Premier Hybrid is behind it with having more supportive and pressure relieving abilities than the Nectar Classic Hybrid. But I'll break these materials down more in our next section. I also think the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid is the most responsive and bouncy of the three beds, and it feels the most different from its foam version. And all of these beds are priced a little differently, so the Nectar Classic Hybrid is the most affordable, then the Nectar Premier Hybrid is the next step up, and the Premier Copper Hybrid is the most expensive. But I do want to remind you that Nectar often runs sales and we always have coupons to help you save more as well. Just click the link in the description below. Now let's go over the construction of these beds. Although there are some key similarities, there are also some big differences. So I'll break it down layer by layer. Starting with the covers of these beds. All three have quilted cooling covers, which have cooling technology and are antimicrobial. But the Premier Copper Hybrids cover also has added copper fibers, which makes it sleep even cooler than the others. Then they have a layer of cushioning memory foam. The Nectar Classic Hybrids foam is gel infused and two inches, which helps it sleep cool. The Nectar Premier Hybrids is one inch of contouring memory foam and the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrids cushioning foam is two inches of contouring memory foam. Up next, the Nectar Classic Hybrid has one inch of dynamic foam to ease into the coils. The Nectar Premier Hybrid and the Premier Copper Hybrid have two inches of supportive foam and then one inch of the dynamic foam. The supportive foam helps promote better spinal alignment. All three beds next layer is eight inches of individually wrapped coils with stronger coil edges to allow sleepers to stretch out to the sides of the bed. Then they all have one final inch layer of foam to stabilize the mattress and give it support. All three mattresses have a shift resistant cover with handles as well. Here at Sleepopolis, we like to rate mattress firmness on a scale from one to 10. So one is super soft, like you're sleeping on the fluffiest pillow you could imagine. 10 is really hard, like you're sleeping on just the bed frame. And we use six and a half as the standard for medium firm. And looking at these three hybrids, I put both the classic hybrid and the premier hybrid at a six and a half out of 10 on that scale. And I put the premier copper hybrid at a six out of 10 on the scale. So the premier copper is just a touch softer. Your sleeping position is also really important when choosing a new mattress. So back sleepers need something that's comfortable and supportive. Side sleepers need something that's a little softer so they can get some contouring around their shoulder and their hip. And stomach sleepers tend to need a firmer bed so their hips can be elevated and their spine can be aligned. And I do wanna point out that people who are lighter in weight will feel like a bed's firmer than people who are heavier. For the Nectar Classic Hybrid, I think back sleepers should really enjoy this bed. Its medium firm feel is a good match for a variety of sleepers. Its memory foam is also good for some side sleepers as it will provide them contouring around the shoulder and hip. Some lightweight stomach sleepers weighing under 130 pounds could like this bed since it should feel firmer to them, 
but I don't think it'll be firm enough for stomach sleepers weighing more than that. I don't think this will be the best and most supportive fit for heavier sleepers weighing over 250 pounds, as I think they'll sink too far through the top foam layers. The Premier Hybrid is also a nice match for back sleepers as they'll get support around the lumbar region. I think a lot of side sleepers will also be comfortable on the Premier Hybrid since it has a similar feel to me as the Nectar Hybrid. Lightweight stomach sleepers could also like this bed, but I think most stomach sleepers will want a firmer option for healthy sleep posture. I think similarly to the Nectar Hybrid, heavier sleepers will want a more supportive bed. The Premier Copper Hybrid offers softer and faster moving foams, which can be nice for back sleepers and side sleepers. I think this will be too soft for most stomach sleepers though. And I think heavier back and side sleepers weighing over 250 pounds could like the Premier Copper Hybrid. Now let's compare their pressure relieving abilities using the pressure map test. The pressure map uses heat mapping technology to show where pressure is building across the body when you lay on a bed. Here's what you need to know. Blues and greens are good and show low pressure. Oranges and reds are bad and show high pressure. And looking at the Nectar Classic Hybrid for pressure relief, it's showing all blues and greens for back sleeping, which is a great sign. And for side sleeping, you can see some pressure forming, but nothing too major. And looking at the Nectar Premier Hybrid for pressure relief, it's mainly blue and green, so another nice option for back sleepers. And when I lay on my side, you can see a little bit of pressure forming, but nothing too concerning. And then looking at the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid for pressure relief, this looks great for back sleepers with little to no pressure. And when I lay on my side, also great results with all low pressure. Motion isolation and edge support can also be really important factors in a mattress, especially for couples. So motion isolation is how movement carries from one side of the bed to the other, and edge support is how well the perimeter of a mattress supports weight. For motion isolation, I thought they all did a pretty similar job and were pretty average for hybrid beds. You'll likely feel big movements from a partner. And when it comes to edge support, again, I'd say they perform similarly, and all have good edge support where you should feel supported while sleeping near the edge. So who should get the Nectar Classic Hybrid? Well, anyone looking for a classic hybrid mattress with a medium firm feel should really like this. Next, I think back sleepers and side sleepers will appreciate its pressure relieving abilities. And last, budget shoppers should love the affordable price. And who should get the Nectar Premier Hybrid? Well, anyone looking for some more supportive and lifting materials in their mattress should like this one. Next, hot sleepers will also like the extra cooling abilities. Lastly, I think back sleepers, side sleepers, and couples could really enjoy it. And who should get the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid? Well, anyone looking for a little bit of a softer feel where you sink in more will enjoy this bed. Second, I think it's a really great option for anyone wanting a responsive, bouncy mattress. And lastly, I think it's a great choice for hot sleepers because of those extra cooling abilities. All right, well, we have made it through this mattress battle. And although I can't choose the winner for you because that's really up to you to decide, it all comes down to your personal sleep preference and sleeping position, I can tell you that we have a lot more information on all three of these mattresses, other mattresses, other sleep products, and more at sleepopolis.com. So be sure to check it out, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you next time.